We got two eggs. One in each box. Ooh. So we got two eggs. That's the beauty. That's the beauty of being here. Man, this rooster right here, man. This dude. The dude is annoying. And I feel like whooping his ass. Dude got too much energy, though. Dude got energy though. <laughs> Man, deal with them. Pick up the egg. One. Two. Two brown eggs. All right, let's go to the other room. Like, share, subscribe. Okay, come in. I'll lock the door. No, oh, don't, 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 don't. Stay. I told you to stay home. So we're gonna, this one they keep uh, laying their eggs on the floor, but that's okay. I still pick it up. So we got three eggs this time. We got three eggs. It's still early in the morning. It's 11 o'clock. We got plenty of time for the end of the day. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pick up some more eggs. But this is my life. This is part of, uh, this part of me now. And I got a little five-year-old, you know, girl. He, he don't, don't play with it. Don't. You go out there, provoke them, and now you come and hide behind me. No, not daddy. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go here. Let's go in the house. Let me check. There's no eggs over here. Let's go, let's go. All right, so we got three eggs. Today is Monday. And uh, and I got me three eggs. Three eggs this morning. And uh, the day is still young. It's 11 o'clock. You know, I got, I'm coming back at six. I'm coming back at six to check, to check for more eggs. Like I said, I'm averaging about, give or, uh, give or take, seven to eight eggs a day. And it's only been like, what, like a week since we uh, had these chickens in here. And you remember what I told you about these eggs? Most of them we are going to incubate to start making, producing our own chickens. And that's what I'm doing with these, you know. That's what I'm doing with these. I'm using them to produce my own chickens. And uh, these uh, chicks, these chicks that you see, I don't even think you can see them. Yeah, you can see them. 
So those, these chicks, we bought them from a company, you know, that produce, produces chicks in, in mass. And uh, my hopes is that by July, July is like, you know, July is too far. Let's say by June, that we wouldn't have to pay by uh, this many chicks from nobody. You know, uh, at the end of the month, I will be producing my first chickens, my first homemade chickens, the one that I've been making on my own at the end of the month. So on the 30th, March 30th, you will see our first chicks come out. Oh, man, I'm telling you, this isn't easy, but it's refreshing. You know, it's, uh, it takes uh, the stress away. That's uh, one thing I like about it. You know, uh, do I regret when I was in America? Uh, this time around, I was making close to $400 a day. Uh, so far here, I'm not making any money. I'm spending money because you got to invest to get a return. You can't get a return out of thin air. You got to put money somewhere and let that money grow. And uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to take a hit for the first maybe three to six months. And then after that, it'll be nothing but glory. I'm going to be living my life just the way I always imagine. You know, waking up, I probably, by then, I would have people working for me. So my job is would be to sit on my bed and, uh, you know, do my, my stats. You know, on my computer, on my laptop. That would be... That would be me in about six months. I'll be walking on bed. You know, I'll be on my Excel, punching in, punching, punching in numbers. You know, that's what I want. But, you know, when uh, investing, this is uh, it's a risky, it's, it's a risky thing. Uh, it's a risky thing that I did. But I did it for me and my children. I already got one. You know, I'm doing it for her. I'm trying to make it a lot easier for her. You know, by the time she's 18, she's uh she's five years old now. By the time she's 18, she's gonna be all set. She will never have to uh file a W-2 or uh uh she would never have to apply for a job. If daddy keeps on working the way I work with my work ethic, if I keep on putting in work, she would never have to file an uh file a job application, you know. She would never have to do that. You know, Uncle Ruckus could bring that job application, but my children never have to do that. Uh, they will not file no W-2s. Their job will be to sit on bed and, you know, run those statistics, you know, to make sure that the business keep, keeps growing. So this is what I'm doing, you know, I'm taking a hit now. I'm spending money. You got to spend, you know, scare money don't make no money. You know, if you ever been in a casino, you know, scare money don't make no money. You got to, you got to be. You gotta be bold, man. You gotta have a lot of balls. When you be, if you, and, and also you gotta believe in yourself. <laughs> you gotta believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, you're not gonna try to do something like this. You know, mind you, I was making close to four hundred dollars a day. Just what, like four weeks ago, four weeks and a half ago, I was making, you know, four hundred dollars a day, and I dropped it because I got a vision. I'm gutsy, and uh, I know what I'm. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going with this. The four hundred dollars a job, a four hundred dollars a day job that I was doing in America. You know what are my children going to do? Uh, they will be forced to do the same thing. 
follow daddy footstep work 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 i don't want that i don't want that for my kids you shouldn't either you shouldn't want that for your kids you should be working to set your kids up for the better you know sometimes when i see folks just you know sit up here you know i sometimes i just feel like uh, a lot of us are you know a lot of us are selfish that's exactly what we are we are selfish people how the hell are you gonna work for ups for 30 years 40 years and then you know the best thing you could do for your children is to teach them how to work for ups too man that's a shame so I gave up the $400 a day job. I'm here, you know, I took a risk. You don't, like I said, you don't take this type of, you know, you don't take this type of risk unless you know what you're doing. Unless you sure, unless you got some, you know, you got some balls in you. Nobody just wakes up in the morning and try this. You don't just try this. But I'm here though, I'm here. You seeing me, you seeing me do this. Uh, meaning, you know, I know what I'm doing. And you could take advantage of the fact that I know what I'm doing. You could hit me up like, dude, I got a little bit of, you know, I got $2. I want to multiply those $2. What do you suggest I do? I'm here. I'm here. My daughter's calling me. I'm here. And I will help you multiply your $2. You know, your two dollars. I mean, if you don't believe me till this point, you know, I'm coming. Man, this little girl. If you don't believe me to this point, then um something wrong with you. But if you got two dollars and you want to multiply those two dollars, hit me up, man. Send me an email. I also got my GoFundMe. You know, I got my GoFundMe set up. And uh, I want y'all to help because uh, I'm trying to win hearts over here. So a lot of these chickens that I'm growing, uh, the, the meat chickens, I'm trying to use that to feed the locals to win their heart. Hey, don't touch that. I'm trying to win their heart. Let's go, let's go. Let's go home. So, <laughs> man, this look good, man. She's a lot of work, and I'm tired. But anyway, the GoFundMe is up is in the is in the comment section, also in the description. You know, y'all need to uh, hit me up on that. Uh, let's get this ten thousand dollars. I know we could do it. Uh, a lot of us got our tax return. I know we can do it. Let's get this. You know, let's get this. Uh, let's get this thing. And uh, you going you will see me. You will see me make use of that ten thousand dollars. All I, all I want for y'all is to help me raise it and raise it fast. You know. Anyway, like I said, man, I took this. I'm here. You know, I left everything behind. I'm here. I know what I'm, I know what I'm doing, and uh, you can also take advantage of the fact that I'm here you know uh to set yourself up you know before you get here or you know just shoot me an email like share subscribe and uh, hit the go for me let's raise this money peace